Welcome to the Terror Dome in New Orleans, Louisiana, where it is never safe to go out in public on Fat Tuesday. Why is that, Grim? Uh, that's because Tuesday's when they have to lure the zombies back into the stadium, so they let a few fat people out to lead them back inside. You know, a little bait. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Motor City Maniacs battle the New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cattle litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. One, hot two, three. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip it. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the offensive burst, and the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 90.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? I was killing with Shimmo. I am a hell of a fellow. And it's first and ten. Receiver's pocket in the back, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. What I miss, what I miss. Oh, <laughs> First and goal. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, oh crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. And he punched his way out of that, and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? they just be caught straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Second down and nine. Hot one, hot two, hot. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Mm. 
Third down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, man? Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Side effects, Bricks. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. He just got crushed! And it's first and ten. And with another pick, and he's running like a moose right now. And he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone! Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch! <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grin? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Second down in a lot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> Scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. Nice 
catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Wow, the quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire defense. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Hot two, hot, hot. run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Third down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot. At this point with multiple interceptions. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well played. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> first down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second down and long. Warming up. I hope you covered your ears, Bridge. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Nice. 
this pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this Ackman. And it's first and ten. Not, not one. Eight. Oh, man, he really won. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. One, <laughs> two, Brown! What? Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. <laughs> Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Second down and nine. gonna hurt he may oh no that was totally unnecessary <laughs> i gotta see that one again it was also freaking awesome i hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere the offense has no running backs left so this becomes a passing only offense uh, they can still run it with their qb right Grim? sure they can run their qb into the defense that's feasting on runners <laughs> sounds like a good plan moron hey watch it And it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Rainbow. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. You know what they say, sometimes the best offense is a Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die.
And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit! <laughs> First and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? First down and five. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Third down and eight. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. This is really a violent game, guys. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. They're lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? Ernie. And he breaks one. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. 
And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just you just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, you game for time. My only week in hours. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopsing time. That's what At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for you. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, no, it's the stick. Man, what a hit that was. Second down in a very lot. Three yard catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Third down and eight. Nicely done for a first down. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. Scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier. Been... And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah. Oh, hello. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He could go all the way. The 10. And he put the Jets on and caught him from behind. Hey, man, I was hanging on the now. You know, 
<laughs> the offense lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now or the game would be over. Uh, so all the other team has to do is pop the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. First down and one. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost power to bring like a high cool. <laughs> Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. Two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. Apparently, the visitors knew to aim for the head because we've pretty much run out of zombies. Game over for them. They lose in a forfeit. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...